All right, guys, so today I'm going to measure the uh, heat loss that my house has around the windows and doors and stuff. I'm using the uh, Unity Pro UTI uh, 260B thermal imager. It's about 24 degrees or so outside. It's, uh, we got, it's not snow, but it's uh, icy, icy rain, I guess. And what we're going to look at is we're going to walk around the entire house. We're going to look at the uh, windows just to kind of see what kind of heat loss we got going on. And uh, then we'll go inside and, and see what it looks like uh, on the inside. So what you're seeing is any basically think of it as a temperature difference. So obviously the the porch isn't glowing red, but there's a difference in temperature of the majority of the outside that it's measuring versus what it's measuring on the uh, on the brick porch because the brick is is actually retained a little bit of heat uh, than what the ambient areas and you can see the heat loss coming around the window there and you're going to have heat loss around your window you can also see heat loss around the door seal so you can kind of you know get an idea you know if you see a huge heat loss I'm going to open the door just to show you what happens So you can see that the inside of the house is nice and toasty. There's the other window on the other side of the porch. Go around to the kitchen window. And what's interesting is you'll see around the, uh, the foundation of the house where the concrete is actually retaining more heat from the ground than what the brick is. So you can see how cold the brick is. And you can see the foundation all the way around the house is, is you know actually a little bit warmer. And then there's the, these are our kitchen windows. And you know heat rises so that's why you see you know a little hotter uh, temperature difference up up top. We'll also go inside and we'll see what the difference is around these same windows and doors uh, from inside the house where it's warm and see what kind of uh, cold is coming through. So let's look at the garage doors. There'll probably be a little bit of difference there. The garage is not heated, so it's probably pretty cold in there. In fact, you can see the, the windows here on the garage side. There's not a whole lot of difference in uh, heat because the inside of the garage is probably pretty, pretty cool. Let's go around the side of the house. I've never checked these windows on this side. Of course, there's the foundation. And it, I think what it's doing is it's absorbing heat out of the ground. too bad up there in that corner right there it looks like there's probably a little bit more heat loss than that corner. Take a look at this window. And about the same I guess. Bathroom window. Look at these boxes, see how much heat they're generating. Uh, I'm surprised that the, uh, that's our cable box right there. The power meter is just as cold as can be. Huh. I would have figured there would be at least a little bit of heat loss going through the power meter. Garage window again. Yeah, I'm in the back of the house. There are three back windows. You got a shed. It's same same temperature as the uh, outside air looks like. And again, you can see around the foundation. That's I always find that interesting. That 
how much heat the foundation pulls up out of the ground. All along the top of the window. So let's go inside the house and let's take a look. Show you the difference. Oh, here's the back door, back porch. And you can see even the back porch, the temperature difference between the brick wall and the porch itself. The porch is pulling some of that heat up out of the ground. Here's a, uh, uh, where's that? Yeah, that's the window of the door. Now this door sill actually looks pretty good. Along the top, there's a little bit of heat loss. But going down this edge right here, that actually is not looking too bad. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to open the door. Here's, here's where the door seals. Right there. There's my dog. Okay, we're on the inside of the house. Now you can see around the around the perimeter of the door you can see the cold temperature versus the, the door temperature. There's the windows. Some kitchen windows that we looked at outside. You can see the cold. And I, I don't think there's going to be, you know, there's nothing you can really do. Get the most energy efficient windows, but, you know, they're only going to help so much. There's that big window. Look at the top of it. You can see the cold coming through. You know, you can also see, you know, where your house is insulated better and where it's not. Look at that. I did another video where I just did all the inside of the house, but it was kind of, it wasn't on a real cold day, so you don't get the, there's the window above the front entry door. You see how much cold is coming through that. You can see around the door. Let's go back here to the bedrooms so this is inside my son's one of my son's bedrooms see right along that bottom edge is cold the rest of it doesn't look too bad Again, there's the ceiling. See where, where it's not insulated the, the best. Let's try my other son's room. Okay. There's his window. Doesn't look bad. The ceiling, the ceiling part looks worse than the window does to me. But you can see right along that lower edge. This is where you get most of your most of your loss. Anyway, this is just the Unity 260B thermal imager used for a lot of things. I mostly use it for automotive, but oh, you look at that. You can see my uh, foot footsteps. You can't see them with the regular camera, but you can sure see the difference where I walked. Across the carpet, well, that looks that looks rough, doesn't it? That's funny. Look at that. Oh, I guess you can even see that. Can you? I'll show you again. That's my footsteps from going from outside the house to inside. Yeah, I mainly use this for uh, 
automotive work, but it comes in handy for a lot of stuff. Anyway, just wanted to show how useful these little thermal imagers are. They've come down in price enough to where you can actually afford to buy them now. Anyway, I'm out. You guys take care.